going on guys welcome back to another video and today it's a bit different because we're doing cooking um, I've never done this before on my channel so I think we're cooking like chocolate reindeer cookies this should be pretty good um, so we've got some stuff we've got the mix obviously we've got one egg we have Sparkling sugar, I think that's just on top of something. Um, I think there's a butter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, have a bowl, have a reindeer shape thing. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all the ingredients. So let's just do this. Now it says, in a bowl, beat together the egg and softened butter. Stir it in, mix, and blend until a dough form. So that's going to be the first step. So let's do it. First, I'm going to crack an egg. I'm not very good at this, but I've done it before, so here we go. No way. And crack. Yes, right. So, uh, don't know where to put this. Um, so we've got the egg in there now. It says I need to get some butter, about 114 grams, so I reckon this is about enough. So if I can, I'm going to try and get this in the bowl. There we go. I've got the knife back in there. What does it say next? It says to, so I need to beat it together. I'm beating the egg and the um, butter. It's starting to form like a, an eggy butter. That's what it's called. And it says it should turn into a mix. Um, hopefully this will. It doesn't look like it is at the minute, but we'll soon. We just need to really beat it like this. I'm joking. Um, like properly mix it around and then sometimes stab it with too much of big lumps like this and then slide it back in and then mix um so it's not looking like cookies at the minute so i think i'm just gonna um tip this all in hey it looks like mild chocolate roast single scrap. There we go. Now I'm gonna mix this. Hell yeah. Just take like mixing skills FC. I don't know whether I should have tipped it all in at once. Oh I've got some bad idea. Oh dear. So um, when you've mixed it enough, you need to like start kneading it and to make it nice and soft. And then it's just to make into two balls. Um, so yeah, just gonna keep on kneading. Fingers are gonna get very dirty. Well, not dirty, but messy. That's the word. Um, still like folding. Um, let's get some of that extra, extra crumbly stuff of the still mixing kneading same thing on top. um yeah my hands as i said are going to be very messy um so you literally just need to like soften it down like sort of fold it you know what i mean like make it flat and fold god um i'll stop there um and sort of like make sure there's no holes in it yeah so you need to make sure there's like no holes in it um yeah so i'm still putting it out making it like very soft as you can see and um, just very soft uh yeah so i'm still mixing it i think it's about time now i'll put it into two balls so i'm gonna flatten it back out First of all, I just need to look at my hands. Oh my god, I need to lick that. Mm. 
So if I flatten it out a bit more, um, there we go. Now it says to make it to two balls. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a fork. Could be a bad tactic. And I'm going to split it in half. Yeah. Now it says to flatten around the edges, which are now done. I'm going to put that back in there. And now I'm going to try and pick this up. Um, I need to put in cling film. Well, not put it in, but cover the balls in cling film. Um, and refrigerate for one hour. Um, so, yeah. I think I might do a bit more flattening. And then it's cling film time. to refrigerate for one hour. Yeah, see you in an hour. So, um, we flowered the surface. I've got my rolling pin. So it's time to roll this thing. So let's go. So this is the first one I'm gonna roll. And we also have the second one still. I'm not very good at rolling pins. Yeah, I'm actually not. But this is normally my tactic. Spread it out nicely, like this. You, uh, literally everyone who's right there will probably do it different to me. Um, but oh, oh, we, we have we have a a department here. Um, so I need to just connect this back on. So it says I roll out till it's flat. So I guess I'm just going to roll out this so Now we've flattened them both out. We used flour to make sure um, it was not sticky and it didn't stick to the table. Um, so now it says to get the little reindeer shape, which is over here, and cut as many biscuits as you can. We really pushed in the reindeer cookie maker thing. Um, it's like properly in there now. So. I think now I need to just pull it out and hopefully it's made the reindeer shape. That's actually perfect. I love that a lot. So now if we think I need to just go like this, maybe get like a knife or something and like separate it apart. So I'll see you in a minute. One tray, um, that's in the oven. As you can see, now I'm just about to do one more um, reindeer thing. I'm just gonna. Okay. I'm scared there in case I burn myself. So now the first lot that we put in um, have come out, they're quite chubby. Um, they're still a bit soft, but it does say cool for one minute. So I can't wait till they're done. I think it's gonna taste nice. What's going to tie you up? That's another thing. Look, look, just look at this mess. Look. Blooper alert. So we've took them out of the oven and we've got two here. Me and my dad are going to try them and mark them at 10. So, let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat its head. So first of all, you need to mark it on a pair of I'm guessing it's a reindeer. Can I back end or front end? I really want to. Okay. Mmm, mm. that's damn good. Mmm. You want to give you a mark? I have a feeling we both have the same answer here, but three. Two, one. Yeah, I think we got the same answer. So, that's the end. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like again if you want to see another cooking video.